Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Madam, and I am back with you with another story uh, to, you know, the Diddy Saga. His son, Christian Combs, has found himself in some of the same uh, circumstances that his father, Sean Diddy Combs, is in. Uh, I will list the article right in all of the details in the description, as I always do. Hope everyone's having an amazing day. It says Diddy's youngest son, Christian King Combs, is accused of assault in lawsuit. Sean Diddy Combs' youngest son, Christian King Combs, is being sued for alleged SA. King, age 26, was accused of SAing a woman in 2022 who was working on a yacht her father chartered. According to a lawsuit that was filed in Los Angeles, Los Angeles County Superior Court on Thursday, April 4th and obtained by U.S. Weekly, King is also being accused of sexual harassment, infliction of emotional distress. Grace O. Mecker claimed that King assaulted her in December of 2022. She said the work she was working on the yacht uh, was sold as a wholesome family excursion, but turned into a humanistic environment. The incident allegedly occurred only a few days before Combs, age 54, held his popular annual New Year's Eve party. King and Combs lawyer Aaron Dreyer released a statement to U.S. Weekly. We have not seen this woman's claim, Dreyer said in a statement, and he expects the allegations is in the lawsuit are manufactured lies. The statement continued, we learned of this lawsuit the same way others heard about the files through the media. A rep for Combs did not immediately respond to Touch's request for comment. King's alleged allegations, excuse me, come on the heels of his father's legal woes. In February, music producer Rodney Little Rod Jones filed a lawsuit against Combs and alleged that he sexually assaulted him, which, came, uh, which Combs' legal team denies. On March 25th, Combs' mansions in Florida and Miami and Los Angeles, California were raided by Homeland Security as part of the federal inquiry. The following day, Dreyer released a statement strongly condemning the use of force used by the federal agents in the raids. Yesterday, there was a gross overuse of military-level force as search warrants were executed at Mr. Combs' residences. There is no excuse for the excessive show of force and hostility exhibited by authorities or the way his children and employees were treated. Mr. Combs was never detained, but spoke to and cooperated with authorities, the statement given on March 26 read. Despite media speculation, neither Mr. Combs nor any of his family members have been arrested, nor has their ability to travel been restricted in any way. This unprecedented, uh, unprecedented ambush paired with an advanced or uh, coordinated media presence leads to a presumpt- uh, premature rush to judgment of Mr. Combs and is nothing more than a witch hunt based on <laughs> meritless accusations made in a civil lawsuit. There has been no finding of criminal or civil liability liability with any of these allegations. Mr. Combs is innocent and will continue to fight every single day to clear his name. Okay. And that is the end of the article right there as it stands. Christian Combs. You know, it is it's it's a lot. It's a lot going on. And, you know, at some point, you just have to ask yourself, you know, do you believe what the Combs team is saying, or do you believe what Homeland Security is saying? 
um, is being saying, you know, Homeland Security, they said, we didn't just pick this person's name out of the hat. You know, they didn't just, you know, was throwing darts at names on a dartboard. You know, they, they had, you know, some type of evidence, some type of, you know, inkling in the investigation. And uh, we all know how Homeland Security is very patient with their investigations. But the, you know, this is the time for them to act on their, you know, thoughts, what they have, what evidence they have. So this is just another turning point in the saga of Diddy, you know. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. As always, come chop it up with me. I love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And with that, I will get with you guys in the next video.